Hi everyone, it's Amy, and this evening I wanted to share a few projects that I have completed, and um, not just with scrapbooking, but just a little bit different here. I also do some painting, and I like to paint on items that I find in a thrift store or a yard sale. And this was actually a Lazy Susan. It was pretty big. It's actually very big. It's you know probably over you know 12 about 12 about 14 inches so it's pretty big but I took the back off and you can see where the the spinning all the wheels were I took that off and we screwed in some hooks and I have it hanging on my wall but anyway this is what I painted on it sorry for the glare here I'm trying to work it out here but I'm very into the, the primitive country decor in my home. So this is what I created on this. And I painted the little sheep. Sorry for the glare. And a little fence. I have a lot to work on um, with my shading. But there's so much to learn. Sorry for the glare. But anyway, this is one project that I created. And then the next one was just um, out of a piece of scrap wood that my husband took down on his table saw and he kind of shaped the sides up for me. And then I distressed this and um, you can see how he sawed this down for me and left this raised up a little bit and I was able to paint another house on here. And then I used a little metal, a little tin star there and, and painted Faith, Family, and Friends. Now what I did was I actually wrote this out in pencil first so it could be even. And I lined it up with a, with a ruler so it wouldn't, you know, go slanted down there. But this is the next other project that I made. And you can see I just kind of some different paint brushes but um, it's a lot of fun it's actually very easy and it's very relaxing and I find myself wanting to paint on everything so and um, I'll share some more too that if you guys are interested in seeing but I have painted actually a lot of different things I love to paint trays up so if you're interested in seeing those let me know and I will post them up but here's this one and then back to scrapbooking and some altered art, I made this canvas. And this was a canvas that I was inspired to create by Leanne over at Lovely Scrapping. And I watched her video over and over again and kept it playing while I was actually working on this because this was so out of my com comfort zone. I've never done anything quite like this before ever so thank you so much Leanne for the inspiration I had a blast making this it was so fun just looking around and using using up pieces that I had um, just kind of laying around in my my leftovers from my projects and and everything just fit on here and one of my favorite things that I put on here was an old-fashioned jack um, it's actually like one of those vintage ones that we used to play with or that I used to play with when I was a kid um, but it's heavy and I just I love it and um, put the rolled flower on there and these are just a bunch of belt buckles I have a, a ton of those in my stash and I have a ton of zippers that I bought years ago and I've kept them in there and I did a zipper layout and I, I challenged everybody at one point to let's see what we can do with zippers but um I'm always interested in seeing projects done with zippers. So when I seen that Leanne used a zipper in her project, I was I was thrilled. And um, let me go get you my layout that I made with the zipper. Here, let's see. Here Oh, well, I guess I... Here it is. 
Sorry about that. Here is the layout that I made at one point using a zipper. I made it um, in 2010, actually. And I just knocked this loose getting it off, but this is a pretty heavy, heavy plate. So now that I've got some different glue from them, what I used to use back in 2010, I'll put it back on. But um, this is a layout that I created, lots of layering. And if I remember correctly, these flowers were made from Joe over at Paper Drama that um, I just loved. So lots of layering on there, and here is the zipper with some lace coming out the sides. And this I left open so I can just put a picture in here if I ever decide to put a picture in here. But this is the other first thing that I ever made with a zipper. So again, if you have any projects that you created out of a zipper, please, um, you know, video response me or let me know. Um, hook your link in and I'll go check them out. I just, I just, I'm fascinated with zippers. Plus, I have a ton of them. Would love to start using them up. Um, and then last but not least, what I wanted to share is nothing that I created, but I wanted to show you guys what I bought from Miss Liberty. And I can't remember her Etsy store name, but I will try to link it down here. But Miranda is Miss Miss Liberty 25 here on YouTube, and she makes these adorable um, hangers. And I am absolutely in love with them. I've been obsessed with them ever since I first saw them. But um, you actually have to see them in person to truly, truly appreciate them. But this is the one that I had purchased, and I absolutely love it. And I'm going to hang some clips off of here and hang a layout on it. So it's so cute, Miranda. I absolutely am in love with it. And then I put this one. And it says Jessie's Girl. And for those of you who know me or are friends with me on Facebook, know that I'm a huge fan of Rick Springfield. And I was thrilled to get this. I, I just, when I opened it up, I was so surprised that uh, Miranda had gifted me with this. And this is such a treasure that I will treasure forever. I Honestly, I just, I love it. And look at the detail on those letters. I can't even write this neat, let alone fold or bend wire like this. Girl, you've got some serious talent. This is amazing. And I am so very, very thankful for this. Um, thank you so much, Miss Miranda. And um, well, that's my project share and my little haul that I wanted to share with everybody. Uh, go check out uh, Miss Liberty 25, Miranda. And I'll try to link her down here so you can go check out her Etsy store if you're interested in these hangers as well. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day.